Hey guys, Sunday the 19th of September. As you can see, I'm at work. I've just finished the 12 hour shift. I'm waiting for my colleague now to relieve me and I'm going down the fen rod. It's stupid high pressure. So, up against it again. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go down the fen rod and leave early in the morning. All right, let's see what the lake. So I'm at the lake, it really took me 17 minutes from the mine where I work. So I've come up the, up the snag end. There's a guy fishing next to down to me. <coughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to angle my pod there, look. I'm going to cast to the, the snag swim there. But what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to put my bivvy down here because it's rampant with rats. I'm just going to put it at the top there. Let's get set up. Right, so there's the first three rigs ready to go out. Same tactics, more or less, as last time. And you've got the shorter rigs, same mixes in the stick mix. Got a PB topper there, and got two milky malt toppers there. There's supple braid as well this time. I've just stripped the bit down by the eye of the hook, you know. So I'm gonna cast these out now. And then we'll put 50 boilies out straight over the top and just leave it then. Just top the swim up every four or five hours with 50 boilies, SLK. And uh, as I said before, the only baits I glug are the hook baits, I don't glug the freebies. So it's 25 past seven now, the rods are out. There's 50 freebies out there. The house is up. Everything's set up. Uh, I've got two beers on the side of me. And a cigar. So I'm just going to chill out here now. There's no rain due tonight. So I'm not going to put the front on the shelter. Just gonna settle in now and uh, have a bit of food in a bit. There's the first rat, I don't know if you've just seen that running past. That's why I didn't put my bivvy down there because it's rife for them. That's why uh, when I bring Lily with me, I gotta be careful with her because there's so much rats down here, like you know, with wheels disease. You have gotta be really careful, bring sanitizer with you guys if you're coming down here, right? Right, catch you later. Just gonna have a bit of food now before SAS and days winds come down. Just check the moon phases on my phone and it's a waxing crescent phase. It's a full moon tomorrow night. Happy days. Good morning. It's 20 past 6. Monday morning. Uh, nothing through the night. Same for the guy next door. To be honest. I think we had more chance of seeing a well and Chinaman and catching with the pressure. So I'm have a coffee now and uh, park down. Head home to the Rebo.
things have been out since uh, since 7 p.m. last night. I've touched them. I just put those 50 boilies out over the top. Just left them. <coughs> That's the way I fish. That's the way I fish. I just leave it out there. So yeah, I got confidence in the, my rig presentation, especially with the sticks on. I know the hook isn't going to be caught up on anything. I know it's going to be laying out straight. Yeah, so so they've been out there and that was not. Nothing in front of me. Okay, let's point. I keep watching. I say, I want to get home to Lydia, because she's on her own today. I might come back down tonight. It's a full moon. Twenty five past seven. Everything's packed up now. Uh, what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna put fifty boilies out in the same range of fish. Uh, it's full moon tonight. Stupid high pressure, but I'm gonna might take advantage of the full moon. Do any of you usually get a chance to fish it? So yeah, I'm gonna put fifty boilies out now and uh, hopefully get down here tonight. So there's a 50 boilies put out, SLK. Uh, what that's doing is doing two things. It's uh, establishing the bait in a preferred swim for myself. It's also getting the fish used to picking up SLK for free and not getting hooked. So fingers crossed I can get down here for tonight. Uh, 
run and mix it up. It's a semi, it's a semi, uh, semi fix it is. So that's on there, look at that. The 13 is a tube in. Tungsten dropper just there, just hold the the tubing in place. It's completely safe. If you get in any trouble, the fish can get away no problem. So that's my running rig. Look. Yep. So here's my three rigs. Let's go out. Turbo German rigs. SLK wafters, tip with fake corn with a colour. 30 pound key attack, size 6 R4s. I'm just gonna put three mesh bags on as well of boiling crumb, krill powder, and a bit of uh, bit of liquid food. There you go, so just uh, just three mesh bags on, Nick Dawn as well. Pass them out now and uh, put a load of uh, freebies out. Do a good time in. Just finished setting up. Just in time for Cory. Happy days. There she is, boys and girls. Full moon. Get more in the comments. Right then, it's a uh, time. It's quarter to eight. So yeah, it's another 12 hours. That's a 24 hour session in two vlogs put together. Uh, nothing happened. The guy next to me also done two nights. Back and forth, you know, done exactly the same as me. Anthony, I'm not sure if he's doing lovely guy. Uh, he didn't have anything either. Well, the pressure was ridiculously high. But if, uh, if we get a chance, I always get up in the full moon, guys, because uh, there's a good chance you have it. you're gonna have a, a warp I like. Yeah. So as a guy, the day fisher now jumped to my peg. So I showed him where I've baited up and things, you know, angling etiquette. And I showed him what I've seen fish as well. And that's the kind of stuff we do, you know. Help a brother out, like. So. Thanks for watching the vlog again. And I uh, much appreciate all the followers and the new followers. Gonna head home now. Uh, it took me about 45 minutes or so. Uh, the dreaded big shop for me today. That's what I gotta look forward to. But if you like the vlog and you like this content, please uh, punch that like button. And most of all, I'd love a uh, subscriptions. So it does help me a lot. It just encourages me to keep doing what I'm doing. Alright, so peace and love. Thanks for watching.